Hello guys, let's get right into it. So today we're going to have the part two of our series whereby we are connecting the Spotify API to Django backend. In the previous video, we came up with certain views such as the authentication URL the, and the check authentication URL together with the Spotify redirect function. It all helps us seamlessly connect several aspects of the Spotify API to our Django backend. If you haven't checked the video, it's right above. You can check it out and then come back to this one to get a continuation of it. The first thing we're going to do today is to create a view that we call current song. So the first thing we're going to get is a variable that we'll call key that will have the query string parameter in our URL that we'll pass in here when we be redirected to the credentials of the song. I'll call it quag. So with this, we're going to get the query parameter from the URL, that we put in the redirect URL. From that, let's get the token. So it will even print the token that you could see if it works. Once you've done that, let's create an endpoint. Once you have our endpoint, we have to create a function in our extras deploy that is going to receive the Spotify request themselves that we need take in our endpoints and our key to go here in order to know which token we're creating. Let's come to our extras Spotify and call it Spotify Request Execution. It will take in the parameters of session ID and endpoint. The first thing we'll do is to check for the token. After this, we'll create the headers that will send the request with. Content type will be of application slash JSON. Then it will also take in an authorization header. The authorization will take a bearer, which will contain the access token that you get from the token. Make sure that there's a space after bearer to avoid the errors because you're concatenating them. Once you have our headers, let us get the data on the song from the Spotify API. It's going to be a get request that will contain the base URL, the endpoint, and the header. Add this because it's a get request connecting to the Spotify API. So this will be the format that you take. So make sure that you add the empty client brackets. So you could just import to get from requests. Once you have that, if there is the response, we'll print out the response. We will just say no response. This is for checking is a response. Once you have that, you could try. So we need to return, we'll return response.json. If it's not there, we'll return an error. With that, we will go back to our views.py and continue with the current solving. Once we have the endpoint, we would now get our response. So we'll pass in the key and the endpoints. There are several other endpoints that if you want, you could continue creating and I, I think I'll make a video after to describe them and to show you how they work. For example, the play song, the skip song, and the pause song that we had collected. But since we are not going to pause any song using the Django backend, that is really effective if you have a front-end that you'd like to connect to because now you'll have the capability to pause a song, to their song and to also skip a song. So we will create a short video after to demonstrate how the three other endpoints work. The other endpoints too, those are not the only ones, but those are the ones that I have used at the moment. If there's an error in the response or in the response that we get, there's something called the item install the details of the source. So if it is not there, we could return a no content status. No content. From REST framework to response, we could import response. Once you have that now, it means that we'll have our item. So from the response, we'll get item. We'll also get the progress milliseconds. Mm -hmm. 
And now from the item itself, we could get several parameters. For example, the duration, the song ID, the title, and also the album cap. So you also add the artist, but since there may be several, there's a certain way that I need to get all their names and contact them at one. So I will use the enumerate because it will create an enumeration object from the artist list whereby each artist will get an index starting from zero. So I will have the index. How it will work is if there's more than one artist, you will add the chord now. I will it's the first one, you just get the name. And then now for the rest, you add the comma and put a space in there so that the next name of the artist will come after this comment space. So that we could create a dictionary to store all these details, which is what you're going to return from the function. So this playing will check whether or not the song is playing at the moment from your Spotify account. Could print song just to see it, and then let us return. That will have created our current song APV. Once you've done this, let us create our URL, our API. Let's create our URL patterns. Let me import the path from Django.trls. First one, I'll call it both URL for the authentication URL. The second will be the redirect for the Spotify redirect. Then we have the check code and then current song. Once we have these URLs, let's add the API URLs to the main Spotify project URLs. Create Now, well, once we have that, let us now add one of the credentials, which is our redirect URI, which will basically be the redirect URL that you have created. Okay, now that we have our URLs in place, we can now add the URLs in the different places that we require them. For example, here in our redirect URL, we will add the current song URL, which we have said in the current song. For current song, it's going to take in the key parameter that you're going to get here. We'll add it, query parameter. Add here the BNFs. Just copy this one, put it here. If the auth status will be true, it's going to be redirected here. Instead of auth key, it's just going to be key because we are using key in this screen. And then for the redirect URL, for the authentication URL, same thing, just that instead of current song, it's going to be auth URL. We're using the slash Spotify here because in the main URL, so that by we said uh, the parts will be slash Spotify slash something. So these parts here in the this URL, so that by when they come to the new, they're going to be slash Spotify slash both here. Or when they think of a button to add. Uh, 8,000 because we're using Django, it's going to be of 40,000. So, colon and then 8,000. Do that for all the other URLs. Now, having done that, we have to now go and set up our API in the Spotify API dashboard. So, if you first come to create up, you'll have an app name. I'll just call it. Because I had already set up an API integration, API integration, something. Then you could describe it if you want. Then the websites do not have a website at the moment, but the redirect URI you're going to put in the redirect URI we created so this will work. Then we just in K against the web API, understanding that sale. So they already had created one learn it for me to create another. I could come here. Once you create it, you could go to the settings, and then you could see your client ID here. And then to get a client secret, you can just click there. Because I already do have mine, I'm not going to show you the client secret. So I add it to the credentials. Add the quotes too. 
for the client security it also add it here and add it all the code that it gives you yeah i was going through the code and i found an error from the previous video so here the https accounts that spotify.com and the refresh token function make sure that you add the spotify.com the why not spotify so that's the only change that I'll make. And with that, I believe that we are ready to. So the procedure will be that we will first run the check authentication API view to see whether or not the user. If yes, we will go to the current song. Else, we need the error to the authentication error. Get a URL that the user will be redirected to a new the given URL to enter the credentials. Once you're on the authenticated, it will redirect me using the redirect URL that we provided on setting up the Spotify app. It will keep directing you to the current song to get the details of the song. Once the user is authenticated, it will redirect me using the redirect URL we provided when setting up the Spotify app. It will redirect me to the current song to get the details of the song. So now let us do that using the server itself. There's an error, let me take it out and then I'll come back. I've just seen it and the URLs that apply instead of it saying include Spotify.urls, include API.urls. So is no pinch. It has now take the process that we had initially using this URL. So the first thing we're going to put in is the check auth URL. Let's check out. If you see now it has redirected me to the Spotify link. API integration. Yes, yeah, I agree. There's an error let me to bump this and then it's back to you. Yeah, so there was an error here too. It should be a calling instead of a quotation. In this post here in the Spotify redirect. With that I think we could redo the whole process. Yes, so since I had already agreed to know to be authorized, it's going to redirect me to the current song. So let me do this on an incognito page so that you can see everything now from scratch. So let me follow the link. Spotify tech code. Yes, so we still have to log into Spotify. Then short. So once have I have logged in, I'm going to be redirected to the current song. So since no song is playing at the moment, it's going to display the HTTP to for new content. Let me go to my Spotify account and play the song that was playing initially, which was Trethon. So there are certain changes that I made that were enormous before. First of all, uh, in the access.py, the Spotify authenticated function, here we had just left it as pass. If talking second it expires in is less than or equal to times and dot now. Here it was a pass initially, so it was, it was just a pass. But we can't leave it as pass, so we need to put in the refresh token function here. That takes in the session ID, so please make that change. The second one was at the tokens.sieve here. The refresh token expires in and token type all merged into one where the quotation marks. So I separated them and put in the commas between them so that they become their own individual fields. When that wasn't the case, it brought up an error whereby it, the database could not find that field. So make sure that there are commas here. The third one here in the refresh token function uh, at the response post, we had just left it as that we did not add the dot JSON over here so that it can return a JSON field. And then for the biggest problem that we had at the base URL, make sure that there's a slash at the end after me, or you can put a slash after every after the endpoint, so make sure there's a slash. If not, I find it easier having the base URL with the slash at the end because if it's not there, it concatenates the me and the endpoint. 
And since there's no such URL in Spotify, nothing will be returned. So it will just return the not found status. So that make sure that this 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 URL is exactly as it is here. Other than that, in the views.py, only error that we had here was here at artist song. Make sure that it, it is artist. This one not artist because if artist it's going to return it. Uh, everything from the last artist, still in detail from the last artist, but you just want the name of the artist. Make sure that you give artist. Yes, and with that, I have already run the server. Let me open an incognito tab so that you can start everything from scratch. And before I do that, you can see that uh, the current song that is being played is Screwface Capital by Dave. I have abstracted this album for the whole series. Like a, it's like a promotion, but it is not. Here's the album cover. It's playing, it's playing, it's false at the moment, it's being paused. If I play it, I hope it's at mute, muted. Yes. And then we get, it's playing becomes true. Pause it. And let's go to an incognito tab so that we can follow all the steps. Check all. See, it has redirected me to the Spotify login. Enter your credentials. So now once I have logged in, it has redirected me to the current song. And you can see the same information that we saw in the previous window. With uh, and also see the album cover and every other detail. So the item, there is more to it than just this. You can play around with the Spotify API. Look at uh, everything it offers because uh, I've only taken a small piece of the information that it is returned to us with the item and the item is just one part of whatever is being returned so let me even return everything before I delete it so that you can see instead of song let me return the rest of us Yeah, so you see, it's a large piece of information that we get on the album and everything that you can require. You see the artists, so if there are more artists, you will get more names and see choose the available markets, the disc number, the duration. So all this I think we have covered, the track number, the type, popularity. So you choose everything about the song. So you can see there's more to it. As I had said, there are more details about the Spotify API. There's more that you can do with it. You can even create a music app. I have created one. Uh, in the future, it may create a video showcasing how I did it. Yes. So with that, I believe that we've come to the end of our mini series whereby we are connecting the Spotify API to a Django backend. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, like the video, and uh, yeah, for more content, I'll still be here. Thank you very much.